Alrighty, y'all. En route, 49 minutes away. This is a 10 out of 10. I think so. Jeez, it is 8 o'clock on the dock, y'all, as you can see that. And it's still pretty dark outside, y'all, because that means it's about to be daylight savings. So we about to go back, I believe, so that means it's getting darker quicker and lighter later. Child, which I hate because I like more time with sunlight, but that's another here or there. I am back at um, my hairstylist. She's about to touch up my little curls, touch up my hair, because I got something super, super, super exciting for today that I'm doing. So I'm going to get my hair did again, and I'm also get my makeup done again. So, say more, say more, so let's go in. This is about to be your girl before. It was before I washed my face this morning. It is all perfect and ready for her. Y'all see me when I come back outside from get my hair makeup done. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. Shook your girl back all the mother freaking way, baby. <laughs> Child, I gotta start turning my music down when I get out the car because that shit scared me every mother freaking time. It never fails. You know how like you driving with your music super, super, super loud, but when you get back in the car, it's still loud, so it scared you like it just did? That's why I gotta start reminding myself to turn my music down before I get out the car so it don't do that. But child, yes. They shook your girl back, baby. Her is laid once again. Makeup is beat once again. Ugh, I just love them so much. Like, they just get you girl together so well. But I'm about to get ready to head home, y'all. And then read y'all's do list on what the plan is for today because it's about to be crazy. It's about to be crazy. But I'm just gonna tell y'all and read y'all the to-do list when I get back to the house. It's 1020, so your girl is making good time because I'm not supposed to be leaving my house until about 12, 18, 12-ish. So I'm making good time. So I'm about to drive home, y'all. Gotta be a responsible driver. Can't vlog and drive at the same time, baby, because I will hit a curve or hit something. So, I'm gonna see y'all when I get back to the hidden house. Alright, y'all. So, I made it back home. As y'all can see. My like, girl looks so good, baby. I just can't. I just, I just can't. But let me put on my robe, child, because it feels so weird. Start off my vlog. We're about to get ready to read my to-do list without my robe on. So, wait a minute. All right, y'all, so put on my roll. So let me read y'all the to-do list for today. Well, mainly it's just one major thing for today. But on the to-do list at around 12, 18, I need to be heading out. Like I said, where I'm going is about a 56, 58 minute drive, almost an hour. But anywho, what I'm doing today, y'all, is going to a high school. So you probably like, Errol, D, what you doing, girl? Why you going to a high school? And the crazy part about it, y'all, your girl has not been to a freaking high school since I graduated high school. I graduated high school high school 2014. Next year 2024 will be my 10 years. I've been out of freaking high school and I haven't stepped foot back into a high school since. But like I said, you're probably wondering why I'm going to high school and wait, 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 wait. This is why your girl is going back to high school. So I got this letter delivered to my office. Y'all know I've been traveling around the world, I, 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 but I also have an office here in Atlanta outside of my warehouse in LA. So I haven't been to my office in a while. This was like, a, this was like back in September, like the end of September when I actually got this letter into my hand. So like my assistant, she usually checks the mail, anything that I have directed to me, she'll put it on my desk in my office, right? Okay. So I go into my office one day where I was going to get my packages. Y'all know how your girl go and get her packages from the office. I also had a letter, which was in the mail. And this says, this was stamped on August 28, 2023. So keep in mind, I didn't receive this letter to me and I didn't open it and read it until about like the end of September. So it was a, quite a while until I actually got the letter and actually read it and received it. So it was to me, Laura Vang, L-O-R-V-A-E baby, CEO, Zierra Taylor. And it came from a high school. So when I seen it, it was sitting on my desk and it was like high school. I'm not gonna read the high school, but it said high school. And it was from a girl named Lauren. And it was from a class, a marketing class. I'm not gonna read the teacher name either, but it was from a marketing class. I was like, okay, let's, you know, open it up and see what's in here. It was a letter, y'all. It was a letter. So I opened the letter in my office because I didn't take it with me home. Like, I sit right there and read it because I was like, what's this? Who writing me? I'm like, first of all, I was like, I was not expecting a letter from a high school. So I'm like, what is this? Where did this come from? Because, you know, when things come to my office, it'd be stuff for the IRS, uh, stuff for Texas, 
stuff for my business, stuff for me personally, but not for my high school. So I got it and it was like the high school and from Lauren in the teacher's class, marketing class, which I was like, that is even crazy to me because I'm like, child, when I was in high school, we didn't have no mother freaking marketing class. You know what I'm saying? Like when you think about marketing, you think about all that stuff, it's kind of like things that you have to go to college for when it comes to like, if you want to be in business, like you major in business, but like marketing class, that is like so genius to me, I feel like, because y'all, that is, that is amazing that the fact that like kids can have marketing class these days, like that is crazy. And I read, it says, Lorve, the Eric Taylor CEO, and it has my office address, and it says, Dear Miss Taylor, y'all, like that makes me girl feel old, like, <laughs> Miss Taylor? <laughs> Hello, my name is Lauren, senior in high school, and I attend high school in Covington, Georgia. I am writing to you as a part of an assignment in marketing class. My teacher, doctor, to our favorite company, brand, or celebrity. Mm-hmm. So she says they had to write a professional letter in their business class to their favorite company, brand, or celebrity. As she was talking about the assignment, my first instinct was to write you. BD! Okay, so she said when they was talking about the assignment, when the teacher was explaining the assignment, my first instinct was to write you. So she had your girl in mind. <laughs> and she was like, I'm a big fan of Lorve. I have been a fan of Lorve since it was first announced. As a black owned business with quality sunglasses, that's girl. I believe it started as an interest due to the fact that this company has inspired me to create my own business as a young black entrepreneur. Here he is. In 2020, different styles of sunglasses started to catch my eye, which brought me to start my own collection. Then I saw you were dropping your own brand of glasses, knowing that you create glasses in the different styles I would like. She loves the idea inspiration. I just love this so much. Like, y'all, when I read this, I was so, like, it's just so beautiful because I just love the fact that, like, people younger than me, even people older than me, you know, look up to me, and it's just amazing to see, like, young girls coming up in this day and age. Because, like I said, baby, we didn't have no motherfucking marketing class when I was in high school. And, like I said, that's almost 10 years ago. So, it's so great and it's so amazing to see that this is, like, the new wave. And I just love that for young entrepreneurs, young black entrepreneurs coming up in this day and age, young black women entrepreneurs coming up and men coming up in this day and age to know and understand that like they can be they can create a business they can be their own boss they can make money for themselves they can create jobs for other people and I'm just so happy that I can be an inspiration and I can be someone that people look up to in that field like that is amazing but you know at the end she said different styles I would like period I'll love to hear back from you would you be willing to write back or send me some promotional products or something similar that I can share with my classmates additionally we're kind of having a competition <laughs> to see who can get something returned to them and she said I love to share my story and have something to accompany that story in my presentation so girl if you're watching this I am so sorry if your presentation has already passed but when I read it I knew it like I got you because baby you gonna win this is gonna bring you up a notch you gonna win baby so she said thank you in advance for your time I truly appreciate it so my whole thing was like okay and again she signed it sincerely Lauren LP 12th grade student so she's in 12th grade so she is graduating this year so Congratulations to you, girl. You was about to win, baby. So when I seen this letter, I was like, OMG, this is just so cute. This is just so beautiful. I like want to do something. So I had my team, obviously y'all know, like I said, my warehouse for my brand is in LA. So I had my team send me a PR package to give to her. But instead of sending it to the student directly or to the school so that she can receive it and present it in her presentation, I was like, I want to present it to her or give it to her in person. Like I want to do it. Like I want to give it to her myself. And I was like, baby, that is gonna have you win like instead of me writing a letter back instead of me just sending you know glasses or sending a PR package to her mailing it to her like imagine just me going up there and giving it to her myself so like I said she's in Covington Georgia this is about like a 50 minute almost an hour drive but I was like hey I'm not doing nothing today I fly out to LA on Sunday so I wanted to do it sooner but this day worked perfectly it is October 19th it's 11.02 like I said I gotta leave my house like 12 18 something like this so I was like, oh gee, I want to do this so bad. So I had my assistant reach out to her teacher and they reached back and they were so happy. Like, oh my gosh, she would love it. She would be so happy. So like, we would love to have her. So that is how that all started, y'all. So that is why your girl is pretty much going to a freaking high school to pretty much give a PR package to a supporter who wrote me a letter in a marketing class because I was their favorite brand, celebrity, company, whatever you want to call it. And that's just, that's just amazing. So I want to help her out and I just want to do something so sweet and so special 
special because like I appreciate all y'all for real for real and this letter when it was sent to me and when I read it I literally was just in my office like oh she this is so sweet it's so cute like I have to do something for her and so that is what I decided so yes y'all so here is the PR box y'all and this is the one I'm giving her I'm giving her my summer collection summer 2023 collection I originally wanted to like I was like oh my god I want to give her the Valentine's Day collection which is a heart PR box chat I'm out of breath <laughs> I just ran from upstairs. <laughs> Give your girl a break. So like I was saying, I originally wanted to get her the collection from Valentine's Day with the heart. But all my PR boxes, y'all, is sold out besides my summer collection, which is crazy. We were thinking about doing a full PR restock, but that's neither here or there, but y'all. This is one that was in stock. So I was like, I'm gonna give her the summer collection. And like I said, I had my team ship it to me from the warehouse. And it came to my office and I picked it up like two or three days ago. Brought it to my house so that, you know, I have it with me when I deliver it to her. Like this shunt is so freaking big, y'all. Like look at this. This is insane. She's gonna love it. I also got the card for her. She got the little card and everything. So that is pretty much what we are pretty much doing today, y'all. We are going on a little journey and I cannot wait. So when I arrive, I'm going with my friends so I can get some footage for y'all so I can record all of this. I'm not sure like how that works about recording in school. I don't know. I don't wanna record no kids or nothing like that. But I'm definitely gonna try to get some footage for y'all. Once I go there, I have to check into the front office. I have to show my ID and everything. So now, you know, obviously, to get through and stuff like that. But once I do all of that, the teacher is supposed to come get me from the front office and take me to their class. Originally, it's supposed to be like 1.30 because that's the time that they, this particular girl goes into that class. This is the time that she has this class. But the teacher reached out to my sister and was pretty much like, you know, can she come earlier? Because she won't be already in the class before they come in the class, before the students get into the class. And she said they switch classes at 1.20. So she won't be in the school, checked in and in the class before they even move around for all the students even be moving around in the school. That's why I gotta leave early. Like I said, it's like a little road trip child. But yes, y'all, I am so, so freaking excited. I'm so happy. And I'm literally keeping this letter forever. But I'm just so glad that I can do this for her. And I'm so glad that I had the time while I'm here in Atlanta to just, you know, make that little trip, make that little drive or whatever to deliver her her box. So I don't know what happened in the class. Like I said, I'm not sure if the presentation or anything has already happened, but Baby, are they bringing things personally? Because I am, and I got you, baby. So she is gonna win whatever competition they had, even if it already passed, baby, you win. But yes, y'all, that is what's on the agenda today. That is it. And then after that, going to get food with my friends. So let me put on my clothes, because like I said, I gotta be leaving out of here soon. But yes, y'all, I'm so, so, so super, super, super excited. Y'all, I'm just so happy. So that's why I went and got my hair retouched up and got my makeup done because baby, I wanted to be cute. And like I said, I couldn't read, I couldn't shake this back to how she had it. So that's why I had to go to her. And then like, while she was already doing it, I was like, what well, y'all, can a makeup artist come back too? Kirsten, that's her name. So like, can she come back to my face too? And you know, we just do the whole combo again. So that is what we did with the burgundy brows and everything again, y'all. So let me get dressed. And then next time you see me, we'll head out this house and hit the road to go to this high school to deliver this package. Tell them this Lauren. All right, y'all, so I got on a fit it. And I'm wearing this jacket because it's cold. I'm wearing these pearl shades. They L O R V A E. Copy your pair two, three, or four. With this little nude jacket. But I gotta earn this, y'all, because she wrinkled up in the back. But I was thinking about wearing it over instead of putting it all the way on, throw it on like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see me, baby. <laughs> Look at it with the hair. With the gold detail in the jewelry. And I was trying to see which purse because I got two little burgundy purses. And this is the purse I was originally wearing with this outfit but I feel like it's too big I feel like if I'm gonna take pictures then I'm gonna take pictures in this one but to go to school I'm thinking this one because it's burgundy and it has the gold detailing in the front and I had this bag for so long child and I was like it's burgundy and it matches the vibe still so I think I'm gonna wear this with this bag y'all what y'all think or I might put it over crossbody and then I'm wearing my little Uggs I recently just got from New York y'all already seen them when I said I had a fit to go with these already this is the fit that I was talking about the but these shoes with the nails oh it's about to be like so cute so little dainty very school appropriate child we gotta dress appropriate for school baby can't be wearing everything to the high school now gotta look real classy baby like the ceo i am of L O R V A E. copy your pair three three four baby but yes y'all this is the fit <laughs> and i'm ready to go so excited y'all y'all don't understand like i am so 
freaking excited. I'm about to go downstairs, put on my necklace, finish putting on my bracelets, and make sure I change my purses because y'all, I'm always changing bags and I be forgetting stuff because I'm always changing purses. So I need to make sure that everything that's in my purse now, I put it in this freaking purse, like my wallet, my key to my car. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna drive. My friend might drive, we'll see. But my key to my car, my wallet, all of that. But I'm about to just put on my bracelets, go downstairs, put on my necklace, bring my lip stuff to touch up my lips. And yeah, baby, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to rock out and head to the school. Cause like I said, we got a journey ahead, but it's still only 11.29. And like I said, in order to get there right at one o'clock or 1.05, I gotta leave my house like around 12, 18. So still good on timing, but yes, y'all. I'm so excited. <laughs> Alrighty y'all, I'm all dressed. I got my little green juice for the road and ready to go. Let's head out. Alrighty y'all, in route, 49 minutes away. Alrighty y'all, made it to the school. About to get ready to head in. Go to the front office first, like I said, because gotta show ID. Can't just be walking around no school, coming on the school premises, child. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, we've made it to the school. So is that the bell? That's the 120? Uh, no, they got five more minutes. Okay, I got five more minutes today to switch classes, okay. y'all. This is my 17th year teaching. And I was just saying how, like, it's crazy that they have marketing class. Like They had this when I was in high school. Me either. Right. I've been no. doing this for 17 years. That's crazy. Aside so from Instagram for my class. <laughs> that's why I talk to them. Not the Instagram. Like, you ain't gonna text me. Yeah. Instagram. So everything is through Instagram. Because I teach marketing. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, yes. Like, yes. Well, yes. so it makes sense. So I like, speak their language. Exactly. Yeah. Where they gonna be at? <laughs> so I had posted something. I was like, if anybody sees Lauren P, said please tell her to contact me ASAP. I think yeah. she's gonna be upset if she misses out. So literally, when I came back to work, because I went to work that day, I was uh. in training. She was like, Doctor, why, why are you doing me like this? I said, No, I was told that it was a surprise. This girl has asked me every class period, so I only wear makeup when I have a speaker. It's marketing. I love the day okay. that I don't have yeah. makeup. Yeah. So her they class, she said she, you she, yeah. today. She like, what's about to happen? What's about to go down? <laughs> To see, but you got makeup on somewhere. And I told her, I said, she saw me. And the she know who she wrote, but she like, oh, she has And she no definitely idea. don't. Because yeah. keep in mind, I I got this letter so late, right? It was written yeah. August 29th. When I received it, it was like late she, September. She sent it out herself? So no. Oh, so okay. we wrote the letters in class. They had the option, like literally what the letter said. Okay. They had the option to write okay. whoever they wanted to write. She chose you. Cool. Mm -hmm. I didn't give them She said her first instinct in the letter. I was like, whoever you wanted to be. And I was like, okay. So then when I got the letter, I said, tell me who are these people, you know. you know, mm -hmm, Like going over it. <laughs> I was like, okay, hey, who is this? Who is, because most people did companies. Oh. Nobody did a specific industry. And I have a company, and she and definitely labeled like, it to my oh company. Honey, she done gave me the whole Instagram. <laughs> and the whole background. <laughs> and so in her particular class, they started getting some of the packages, like one girl did Mary Kay, uh, one did Victoria's oh. Secret. So oh. they were hearing back from them. Mm -hmm. But you had to know how to write a professional yeah, business letter, like right. the whole nine. She never asked that, you know, did my person write back? She never said anything. She never mm -hmm. said, is it going to be you? I just had to have a big surprise for you. And that was all I said. Oh, it's going to be so good. Oh, that's the 120 bell? Yeah, oh, y'all, y'all, the bell just rang. So they about to come to class. All right, y'all, we are waiting in a, like a little secret room in the classroom. So the bell just rang for them to come in the classroom. So basically what she said we're going to do is she's going to pretend like she has a speaker, which is going to be K. Y'all, this is crazy. Call me Teacher D, baby. Miss D, about to teach a class. Yeah. I got her little box ready and everything. She said she, like, the whole day, well, up until today, because she was saying that, that she had a surprise, yeah. but didn't tell her what it is. I so excited. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tell us what made you write the air of yeah. all people. Um, I would say that I was 
say Dior always been, like really inspires me, like from like everything that she do. Like I've been watching Dior since like when I was like down here, like just kid days, and then knowing that she had a glasses company. At first, I had somebody else, and I was like, I had a different company. I was like, wait a minute, I don't, I don't, that don't that's not right. I don't want to do that. And I was like, I'm gonna do a red. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna send this to Dior. And I was like, man, she's not gonna get it. Like mm -hmm. I had so much doubt. As like if, if you talk to Jayla, I had so much doubt. Like she's not gonna get it. She's not gonna see it. At first, I thought it had the wrong address, but I was just searching. Then Dr. Marla, she was like, make sure I had the right address because they sending stuff back and making it come back to us because it's not an actual address. I'm like, oh my god, I hope I don't have the wrong address. And I was just like, I really hope she, you know, get it. And I'm like, I'm just so. So how did you end up finding the address? Like, you, what how did you find it? I just went Google and I just typed in like your PO thing, like mm -hmm. your PO box thing. Mm -hmm. And then like it took me to this link where it had like the different LLCs on there. Yeah. And then that's how I got it. And yeah. I just chose the other reason. Yeah, you yeah. did. That's actually real smart. Cause I was like, I walked into my office and I seen the letter from my husband. I'm like, shut up, nigga, I'm at you. <laughs> but it's actually smart that you went digging because it's like you 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 search for what you want to search for. Mm -hmm. You're looking for what you really want to do, you what right. you really want. Thank you, girl. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you like your little tag. <laughs> Everybody here. <laughs> 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 That's the only purse she got on right there. The black purse. She old going inside. <laughs> Let me pull <laughs> Oh my gosh. Literally, oh my gosh. I am so happy right now. Period. <laughs> Just wrapped up after class, about to get ready to leave. It was so nice. It was so sweet. The class was amazing. Shout out to their teacher, Dr. Morrow. It's been amazing, y'all. The girl about to get ahead out because they about to get ready. This this bell about to ring and they about to leave school. So I'm about to leave as well. All right, y'all, I made it back home. I just ended up taking this jacket off and putting on this look, a crew neck because I have to go eat. Change the jacket.
Good morning, OGs. It is the next day from yesterday, so I'm continuing this vlog on. I'm in a car and I'm not starting in my kitchen because I'm about to get ready to head to the store. I gotta pick up a few things because tonight is going to be spooky movie night and I'm super excited, y'all. It's gonna be so cute. Got the matching PJs, baby, with my boo and also going to do pizza because y'all know I had that school and I was trying to debate if I wanted to put pizza in there because somebody sent me a video and was like, do this because you got the pan and I was like, oh, that's cute. But I really wanted to do cupcakes, but I might do pizza. So we'll see what I'm feeling when I get to the stove. And I also have to get stuff to make breakfast. I already picked up eggs and I'm so, I don't know why I didn't just get the sausages when I was there. Oh, you know what, y'all? My Tennessee Pride was out. The freaking shelves, y'all, was clear, baby. Like, it was no Tennessee Pride. And I'm like, I ain't never went to no stove and it was no Tennessee Pride on the shelf. So that's why I didn't get it when I was there. But I did get eggs, but I need my freaking sausages because I'm gonna make my hash this morning for breakfast. So that is what's on the agenda today picking up all my different things that I need I kind of already have everything because I've already been planning this day well this night so I'm super excited and I already pretty much got majority of the stuff that I want wanted to get in need so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do I got my pineapple as you can see kombucha I'm about to drink I've already been drinking it, but I'm just about to go ahead and kill this because I had some in the middle of the night and my little wine glass y'all seen but I'm just about to go ahead and kill this while I'm shopping and while I'm driving so let's get ready to head out on this little adventure I'm not sure what store I'm going to it's between Target, it's between Publix. I might go to Publix because Publix actually has pizza dough if I do decide on it. Because when I went to Kroger, that's where I went. It was Kroger. They didn't have no freaking Tennessee prize. So I'm like, let me try another store. So I'm gonna try Publix, which I don't even know if Publix even sell Tennessee prize. Like, yeah, I don't know. But we about to get ready to go. So let's go. Y'all, look what they have. I'm in Publix, by the way. And they got Tennessee fries, so I'm gonna two of these junks. One hot, one hot, and one mild. Alrighty, y'all, so I've made it into the grocery store. I'm in Publix, like I said, and now I'm looking for pizza sauce. Like I said, I think Publix sells pizza dough already pre-made, but y'all, I gotta find it, because I haven't found it, but we got the pizza sauce. Well, y'all, this is spaghetti sauce. Where is the pizza sauce? All right, y'all, so I found the pizza dough. Actually, one of my supporters who watched me, she helped me out, y'all. Okay, I'm trying to see, because they got Italian pizza dough, and they got parm. I guess seasoned with parmesan cheese. So they sound good. So I think I'm gonna get two of these shots right here. All right, y'all, I found the pizza sauce, but it's like a small one, so I ended up getting two of these shots because I feel like this gonna be too, too small. y'all I just finished doing my little grocery shopping or picking up what I need to pick up and my last minute things so I'm about to get ready to head back to the hit now click the ticket all right y'all so I made it back from the grocery store Publix to be exact and I'm about to get ready to cook me some breakfast y'all because I've been waiting to make my freaking hash so I'm gonna put my pizza dough in the refrigerator so that this can stay cool because it's only like 12 59, so basically one o'clock. So I got nothing but time tonight. Until tonight. And since I haven't eaten and I've been craving my hash, I'm about to be ready to make that. Also, y'all, I got the pepperonis. I got two different ones because this one said cup crisp. And these like the ones that be on a pizza and they kind of be like, they be like a cup, like it is in this picture. And they be so good and crispy. So I was like, ooh, let me try these. But I also still got the little regular ones because just in case I got those two. Y'all seen I got the two pizza sauces. I also got biscuits because I was going to eat that because I ain't had no type of meat. I mean, no type of bread. I don't need no bread. Yeah, everything I need bread with everything. But I got this for my breakfast, y'all. And since it come with like eight, I was going to probably make just like two of them because if I make all eight, baby, I'm not going to eat them because I don't be like leftovers like this so I'm gonna keep the other ones I don't cook and refrigerate them so that I can cook them again when I want to and then my Tennessee pride y'all already know baby my favorite little sausage and I got this y'all for the pizza because parmesan cheese and red pepper flakes which I already had because it's in my little seasoning drawer right here so I didn't need to get this but I already had crushed red pepper flakes and then I got this one which is not regular just parmesan asiago ramona parmesan aged over 10 months asiago over six months and romino aged over five months baby for premium flavor so that's why I got this one because it sounds like this gonna be legit and good so I also got melty I like the creamy creamy one Philadelphia mozzarella cheese and then I also got pesto y'all because I was like maybe I could try that in my little pieces but that's 
that's everything I got from Publix. Like I said, everything else I've already got before, so I think we're good. So I'm gonna end up just getting all of my stuff out later on, but like I said, I'm about to start cooking breakfast, so I'm gonna change because I'm not trying to get nothing on my little cute little set. y'all so i'm trying to see which tennessee pride i want to make the hot one or the mild one. i feel like mild because i ain't had this one i just recently had the hot but any mini money mo catch your piggy by his hoe if you had to let it go any mini money mo so hot y'all like i was saying y'all i didn't have no eggs i literally only had two left so when i went to the store the other day i bought eggs so i'm just gonna fill up my little egg tray So this one I'm about to make y'all. I already showed y'all this. I got it from Trader Joe's. My hash. Oh, it's so good. But I'm still seasoning up and stuff with my own little stuff. I'm gonna cook my sausages first, then put this in there and cook this, and then put my egg in it to cook. Cause like I said, I like my egg runny. Y'all, I forgot I got the pumpkin waffles from Trader Joe's. So instead of making a biscuit, I'm actually gonna make like one or two of these joints to eat with my hash. Yeah, baby, I'm about to put them in the oven. I got my hash with my egg and I also got my waffle and I'm using <laughs> Waffle House syrup I already had so let me pour that. All right y'all, let me show y'all this egg. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about when I say runny, 10 out of 10. All right y'all, here is my plate after. Baby, I told this junk up. When I tell you this was a 10 out of 10. Oh, I just love it so much, it's just so good. I just forgot how good it is. Plus, an over medium egg, y'all. If y'all ain't never had an over medium egg, please try it, don't knock it. It literally just tastes like butter. That's what I tell everybody when they ask me what it tastes like, butter, melted butter. Baby, this breakfast here, 100 out of 10. All right y'all, so I've already eaten my breakfast. I'm about to get ready to finally try the costume on my cats so I gotta get the treats because that's the only way they're gonna come and watch when I shake it or when I try to get the thing they're gonna run all right so here go the costumes I think I'm gonna put this one on Pierre and then I'm gonna try to put this one on Penny first look y'all I didn't even shake the thing and look who running in here <laughs> What's up, Pierre? And here go Pierre, y'all. Literally right here. Hey, look at Pierre. Literally right here. I don't know what's in these treats, y'all. These right here, but baby, they literally go crazy. Now I literally can make them do everything, anything I don't need them to do. Girl! <laughs> Penny, get your claws out of my... Child, I shook the thing and she jumped up here. Girl, who do you think you is walking all of my furniture? All right, y'all, so I'm about to put this one on Penny first. Let's see how this goes. Literally knocking the thing over and everything. Like, girl, it's like catnip. Marijuana for cats. <laughs> All right, y'all, here we go. Oh, ah! Penny trying to leave. Child, let's see. Come on, Penny. You can do it, girl. There you go. Now we gotta put your hands in. Ah! <laughs> Shoot, she's scratching me. And y'all know Penny don't get groomed, so her nails is super, super, super long because she don't know how to act. Uh-uh, hold up. Give me that other hand. Ah! Y'all, her nails is in my leggings and it hurts so bad. Good girl, peace. Here you go. Okay, girl, look at your little <laughs> Peace, she looks so cute in her little outfit. Y'all, I don't know if I put it on wrong. I think I did. Dang it. Y'all, it was a struggle, but I ended up changing it and turning it around, so this is how it's supposed to be. Oh, look at it. She don't want to move. Y'all, and there's Pierre. Look at him with their little costumes. <laughs> Look at pretty y'all. Hey, Pete. 
I also got Penny the witch one I was telling y'all about. But y'all, I'm not about to force this. Or maybe I could try to put the, just the hat on. All right, y'all, so I'm about to try to take the hat off and just put the hat on Penny. Baby, I know she is not about to keep this on. All right, y'all. <laughs> I got the hat on her. Look at it. It's so cute. She like a little witch. Y'all can even see her when she got her eyes down because she blended in there. Ah! Look, Penny, show them your hat. <laughs> She's a witchy. Y'all, look at the pictures I tried to give. Pierre, child, he just trying to walk around and eat crumbs on the floor. Penny, she did she did decent, child. Look at her. <laughs> like, look at this one, y'all. It's so cute, isn't it? All right, y'all, I got the pajamas, the matching PJs. These are the ones y'all seen me get when I was in Target, and they so cute, I like them. And I, but I don't know, I think I like my other ones more that I got last year that's orange, but these are cute. All right, so got matching PJs laid out, like I said. They're the same exact ones, y'all. And I don't know if you can kind of see on this how they look. All right, y'all, I'm about to get ready to get in the shower so that I can, when I get out, I can just prep everything for tonight. My boo's supposed to be coming over like around 6.30, 7 o'clock, so I'm about to get in the shower. Also, I wanted to show y'all this little thing I got from Amazon. It's new. I actually got two of them. It's like, look, shower scrubs. Instead of like a loofah, they say this is like more clean. It doesn't collect bacteria like a loofah do and all that stuff. So, it's 100% silicone. So, I'm about to try this in the shower. I got two because I don't know which one I would like the most. So these are the two ones I got. I'ma put them on my Amazon storefront, but I'ma try them, y'all. All right, y'all, I just got the shower. It is five o'clock. Oh, y'all, I feel so good. My body feels so soft. The face is clean. Oh, I just love feeling like this. I put on my perfume already, and I lavendered myself with this right here, y'all. So it makes my skin so soft on top of my EOS lotion that y'all know I love. But let me show y'all the little scrubs I was showing y'all before and show y'all the one that I ended up liking because I tried both of them in the shower. All right, y'all, so this is the one I ended up liking because this part, like, it's so easy to hold and just scrub yourself. And I think this one lavenders, like, lavenders the soap more. So I think this is why I like this one more because it's more of, like, a soapy feel. And the other one, it's still good, but I like the way I can hold this one more, and I like the way it just does the soap better. So this is one is my favorite. I'm still going to use both, but this is my favorite. Both of them are going to be on my storefront, Amazon storefront, but this is my favorite. So I'm about to go in the kitchen and get everything I need out, already out and stuff, and get ready. So yeah, let's go in the kitchen. So remember I showed y'all this, my little pumpkin thingy that I love so much, and it had candy in it. I just ended up taking the candy out because I'ma use this as the popcorn bowl. So that's gonna be cute, I can't wait. And I got my popcorn, y'all already know, baby. Avil Redenbachers, baby. <laughs> Movie theater pop butter. And so I have this thing that I showed y'all before already. And I was like, I was gonna do something with it. So my thought was to put like the wine inside here or like something to drink inside here, which I do have the wine that I ended up getting from Trader Joe's, which was the richest brew. But I think instead of using this or pouring this in here, I'm gonna put it in either these cups or these cups and do like the little spider rail with the marshmallow on the top. So I think that's what I'm gonna do instead. I'm so interested and ready to try this, y'all. Like, I'm so excited to see what this tastes like. Like, I don't think I've ever, I don't like red wine, I don't care for red wine. If I'm drinking any type of wine, it gotta be sweet and it gotta be like clear, whatever you call it, not red. But this is red wine, y'all, with spices in it. So that's interesting. I'm very curious to know what this tastes like. All right, y'all, so I also decided to get my mask out that I got from the store. Y'all remember when I was in New York? Because I haven't used it yet and I thought they was cute. So I got these out to do also. All right, y'all. I put on my little jammies. Ain't they so cute? Look at you guys. They is so cute and they fit good. Like, look at this. Yeah. All right, y'all, I gotta turn on the oven to preheat because I forgot to do that. So I'm about to get ready to put the pizza on. First, y'all, I'm about to get ready to pour the wine because, like I said, I am literally dying to try this stuff. We about to drink the wine while making these freaking pizza things. Cheers. All right, about to try, y'all. Y'all know how red wine be bitter, but this is actually sweet. Like, this tastes like that sweet wine, not red wine. With a hint of, like, the spices, because I, I taste the cinnamon and all that type of stuff. Like, mmm. 
this is good. They did something with that witch's brew, baby. All right, y'all, so I forgot that I wanted to try to do the little spider web. You need marshmallows, so these just was in the refrigerator. I don't know why I put marshmallows in the refrigerator, so they a little hard, but I'm gonna put some in this bowl and melt it in the microwave for a little bit and then try to create the little spider webs. And I think I'm gonna end up trying to do that on my little glass wine cups, because these are so cute. Like, I just always wanna use these. Y'all, I literally left these in the microwave for like literally a second, a millisecond, and they already melted. So I'ma just play with it. Oh, look at that! I'm doing it! Oh, it looks good! All right, y'all, look at it. It literally does look like a little spider web, but you can see it's kind of falling. I'm trying to see how to do it without making it fall. All right, y'all, so I did this one right here, and I think that it was too soft, so I let it sit a little bit. I think this is gonna be better, because watch this, y'all. Yeah. See, that's better. Hey. <laughs> So I think that's what I had to do was not have it too soft. So I warmed it up. All right, y'all. So this is what it ended up looking like when I put it on the wine glass. And I kind of like put it around. I think that's so cute. So I'm gonna pour the wine in here. I also did it on the black cup, but it looked better right here. It's so cute. Look at that, y'all. All right, y'all, so I got the pizza dough. I was looking like this is a big old pizza dough, so this might actually be enough to fill all six of these. So what I'm gonna do is break it enough to spread it in the pan, because I want to stuff it, and I want to have enough to be able to fold over once it's all in. All right, y'all, so we had to end up <laughs> rolling this stuff out because it's so thick so that it can fit in the pan evenly, y'all. So we rolling it out. All right, y'all, they looking good. So I think I'm gonna do just four and then stuff these just real good. But so far, so good. All I gotta do is put them inside the middle, all the stuffing inside the middle, and then fold the extra dough over it. All right, y'all, the dough is good. I'm about to go ahead and fill this up, oh, baby. And throw these just in because I'm hot. So first I'm gonna do a little pizza sauce. I just have a feeling this is about to be so fast. these joints to perfection, baby. So I'm about to go ahead and fold it over. And then I'm gonna press down so that it gets in the mold. Oh, baby, this is about to be so good. y'all they done about to put it in the oven all right y'all so i ended up taking the pizza out of the oven but i had this leftover garlic butter as you can see because i ended up making grilled cheese and i used garlic butter that i made so i'm gonna actually melt this and put it on the pizza since they out of the oven this mother freaking butter smells so good this is how it turned out oh it's so cute y'all look at it y'all see it oh that's so cute i stuffed these just up y'all to perfection so a little cheese and a Look, mm, look, I'm about to smash on these joints. Look at this. Look at it, y'all. It came out so good. I had to bring y'all a look closer because get into the details, baby. Yes, they look so good. Now I'm gonna brush the garlic butter on top. Oh, this is about to slap. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. I'm about to open it up. Oh, y'all, look at this. This is a 10 out of 10. Mm. Like you said, it's like a hot pocket. <laughs> Y'all, this and red pepper flakes together on this jump, baby, elite. Y'all, I forgot to show y'all my flowers. Look at them. They is like Halloween theme. Like, I don't think I've ever just seen Halloween theme bouquets. Like, look at this. I feel like this is like a 2023 thing. Cause like, baby, I don't know. But look at them, they is so cute. They literally like Halloween theme, y'all. It's like orange, black, white. And then it had this little thing right here. I said it kind of looked like Finesse Gatsby, if you know, you know. But y'all, it's just so cute. Like, I love them so much. All right, y'all, I wanted to show it to y'all in the light because you can see them better. Look at it, so cute. All righty, y'all, just made the popcorn. About to get it put in the pumpkin bowl. 
Alrighty y'all, so watching Halloween, because it's like my favorite Halloween movie, like in Michael Myers, it's like my favorite scary character. So y'all, this particular Halloween, I think it's called, I think it's Halloween 2, I don't know, but when he was a kid, this is probably like my favorite one, like the favorite Halloween one of all time. Alrighty y'all, so I got my pumpkin cheesecake ice cream and then those cookies I was showing y'all, they taste like ginger stamps, y'all. Alrighty y'all, I'm about to get ready to close out this vlogger vlog and I hope y'all enjoyed this vlogger vlog. I'll see you next vlogger vlog. Love you. Bye.